Our partners at Sledgehammer Games have already revealed Call of Duty Vanguard's immersive campaign, an intense multiplayer all set in World War II. And now, keeping true to our zombie's nature, Treyarch is back for another round. Studio responsible for bringing zombies to Call of Duty more than a decade ago returns to World War II and Sledgehammer Games' is Vanguard, setting the stage for a new zombies experience. Black Ops Cold War offered the team at Treyarch the opportunity to introduce players to the Dark Aether storyline, beginning with the opening of the Dark Aether gateway at Project End Station. And now, prepare to face a new type of evil, meet new allies, and make new enemies. Prepare for a gameplay experience that gets you to the fun faster, all wrapped in a brand new dimension of zombies. In Vanguard, we're introducing a brand new zombies experience and a franchise first crossover that builds on the Dark Aether universe. And today, our team will share more about the story, the lore, core gameplay, weapons, and characters that will define the next chapter in the Zombies saga. But first, let's whet our appetites with the world premiere of the new Zombies gameplay trailer. Pre-orders get instant access to the Night Raid Mastercraft and Operator Arthur Kingsley. The team at Treyarch is pulling out all the stops to tell a new, brutal story that expands and explores the unsettling world of the Dark Aether. It's a story that longtime players will appreciate, but one that will be easy for new players to pick up and play. In addition to being canon, it's an experience that immerses and innovates on the core Treyarch Zombies gameplay. This is Der Anfang. With Der Anfang exploring the mystical and the occult, it was important to convey an unsettling and brutal feel to the world. Sight lines will be obscured by piles of dead corpses from Soviet and German soldiers, and it all comes to life, so to speak in Vanguard's epic World War II setting. With Vanguard Zombies, we really try to bring a new experience for all types of different players, from current players and really to getting new players into the Zombies ecosystem, right? Cold War brought Outbreak, and we've really taken the best mechanics, smashed it together, and created Vanguard Zombies. Our enemies have allies from beyond this mortal realm. So Duran Fung, the beginning. It's the start of a new Treyarch Dark Aether zombie story. The events of Black Ops Cold War brought an end to one storyline. The events of Vanguard represent a new arc. Zombies players have witnessed the catastrophic outcome of the science experiments at Project End Station. 
Project N station was a Nazi particle accelerator that punched a hole through the dimensional veil and gave us access to the dark ether where these five otherworldly artifacts come from, each one linked to a powerful dark ether entity. There is Cortifex the Deathless, Syraxis the Shadow, Nordicus the Conqueror, Invictor the Destroyer, and Belakar the Warlock. These dark ether entities bind their powers to our human operators through artifacts crafted in the dark ether, each granting unique abilities like Frost Blast and Ring of Fire. Now, anyone who touches them forms a symbiotic bond with a dark ether entity. It's almost like being possessed, except the entities can't control their hosts. They can only offer guidance and their powers. Exposure to the dark ether also allowed the Nazis to expand their research into dark magic. Enter Oberfuhrer Wolfram von List, a ruthless officer in command of an SS battalion called Die Wahrheit. This was the group that plundered antiquities from around the world. Von List forced top experts to help him, explorers, historians, and a demonologist named Gabriel Kraft. Professor Kraft's deep knowledge of the occult ultimately led Von List to these artifacts. Von List bonds with the most powerful entity of them all, Cortifex, the Deathless. This former lord of the Dark Aether grants him the ability to raise the dead. And that's why, a year after their worst defeat, Von List takes Dvorahite back to Stalingrad. And he's going to raise an undead army, march them across Europe, and annihilate the Allied forces. The zombies uh, actually are undead bodies from the past war at the Eastern Front. Professor Kraft sends out a distress call. That call is answered by Vanguard Special Forces operators. But they end up trapped inside a barrier erected by court effects to seal off Stalingrad. They can't call for reinforcements. But they have Professor Kraft's expert guidance and their own unmatched combat skills. And four Dark Aether entities willing to bond with them and share their powers. They do this in the interest of defeating Cortifex, the Deathless. While these entities may be helping humans, players will find out that they have their own agendas. It's an unlikely team up, but it's our only shot at keeping the Third Reich from winning World War II. We had a lot of fun designing the different objective environments. Each location has a very distinct look and feel to the play space so that no two areas will feel similar. As players explore the realm of dark ether magic against the backdrop of Stalingrad, they'll encounter shrines, rituals, and sacrifices. With so many different elements in play, it was important to establish unique visuals. It is a look that feels more grounded, something you can have nightmares about. The occult was something they really wanted to touch. It has so many different variables, like summoning portals, blood rituals, hanging skulls, seances. When it comes to zombie types, we run the gamut. We have your basic grunt zombie. And we also have our heavies. These big guys carry around mini guns, and uh, those are the Sturm Kriegers or Storm Warriors. They are really hard to bring down, and it's hard to avoid them when they shoot. But we also have something called the Boom Schreier, which means Boom Screamer in German. These are zombies that will run real quick and explode in contact. It's a, a wide variety of threats, and they all start to pile up as you get further in rounds. Approaching the Arm Fang was important for us to stay true to our lineage while also building something brand new. You'll find all of the classics, right? Pack-a-Punch, Mystery Box, Crafting Table. But there's a lot we're doing different this time, too. The runes are something new in Vanguard. Dark Aether rune magic is the thing that the Dark Aether entities use to manifest their powers. That winds up being very important as the story plays out. We tried really hard to make it accessible for new players. It's super easy to jump in and get started, right? You don't need to know anything about previous zombie experiences to enjoy this. Spawn into the map with your friends, jump into a portal, do an objective. You're in it. That's you playing, and you're playing successfully. From the casual to the hardcore, there's enough for you to dive into. In Vanguard, we get players right into the action so they can start blasting away. Fighting zombies is the core of this mode, and it's what all our fans love doing, and we give you plenty of ways to do that.
Players start the game in the snowy graveyard of Stalingrad. The forward operating base of our allied operators in Der Anfang. Here, the players have access to many of the upgrade machines they will need in the battles ahead. However, players can't get too comfortable here because Stalingrad is still inhabited by roaming zombies. The area is relatively confined, but as you complete objectives, the map opens up, offering access to other powerful upgrades like the Perk Fountains. As players complete these various challenges, they will open up the forward operating base to new threats and opportunities. Your Dark Aether enemies grow in power with each new objective, so you'll need all the help you can get. That means using traditional methods like buying perks and upgrading your weapons at the Pack-a-Punch, but we're also adding a new means of gaining power through the Altar of Covenants. A brand new system to zombies that randomizes every time you come back from an objective what you can purchase with a nasty sacrificial heart, which can be exchanged at the Altar of Covenants for one of three random upgrades. Choose from power-ups like Ammo Gremlin, which reloads non-equipped weapons over time, or Brain Rot to turn zombies into allies, or Unholy Ground for those times when you really need to hold your position. Step one is always, what gun do you have? Because those will all play very differently with the Covenants. I think players are gonna find that when they pair up with a different Dark Aether entity, it feels like a completely distinct experience. So you're just combining your guns, your Covenants, your equipment, the things you're finding in the world. You can have freedom to be in a cool place that would never exist in the real world. It's a different region with different inhabitants and in turn, different gameplay elements. And with Vanguard Zombies, we're bringing that in spades. Moving to the world of the occult provided plenty of inspiration around the visual identity of the game, and it helped to shape the way we think about the map design. We built Zombies in the same engine as Vanguard. We wanted to make this unified with the rest of the game, while still have its own identity that is more of a fantasy look. Players will battle across the rooftops of Hotel Royale on a rainy night in Paris. They'll fight at the base of a massive burning windmill in Merville, which was actually part of the Normandy invasion. And they'll find themselves in the classic swamps of Shinonuma, which is a truly eerie setting that our longtime fans will be familiar with. Dark Ether Magic has allowed the team to really bubble up some interesting new ideas that we have not explored in past Zombies experiences. The different objectives you're tasked with really alter how the player experiences the various environments. There's an objective called Blitz, which takes inspiration from that holdout style gameplay of just surviving, but this time you're taking the fight to them. In Harvest, you hunt zombies who drop runestones that you can collect. Players must then deposit these into an obelisk called the Sin Eater. In Transmit, you'll escort a floating zombie head as it seeks weaknesses in the dimensional barrier to the dark ether. These different challenges and eerie environments with dark settings help the player feel enveloped in Cortifex's grasp, and we can't wait for our fans to experience it. Daron Fung is a brand new experience that explores the dark ether universe in exciting, fresh ways. Launch is really just the tip of the iceberg. Everything post-launch is gonna bring new twists, new stories, new characters, brand new gameplay. And it's all part of Vanguard's advanced global progression system featuring player and weapon leveling, plus battle pass system integration. This is a whole new way to experience zombies. Welcome to Call of Duty Vanguard. Their unfung awaits.